Hello everyone, and today we're watching the top, the, uh, let me start again, the top 10 most dangerous animals in Africa by watchmojo.com. Mash the veggie over there. Yes, um, I guarantee you we've got the black mamba somewhere in the list. He has to be in the list, or they have to be on the list, they need to be, because they are one of the most dangerous snakes, and Chandler's wildlife always says how dangerous they are. I want to see them. Um, not in person. Hello, not in person. I don't know, I'm very interested. So, should we just begin the video? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm interested. Please go and watch the original video, please give them all your support. Thanks for watching, and let's begin. Africa is home to many animals capable of harming humans. At first glance, Fontana's attacker mm. seems unlikely. The Cape Buffalo. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most dangerous animals in Africa. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? For this list, we'll be looking They're at beautiful. the deadliest and overall most dangerous animals found on the African continent. Which of these animals scares you the most? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Great White Shark. At this point, I don't agree with the Great White Shark. I think it's more like the Bull Shark is what you have to be careful of. The Great White Shark doesn't seem to want to even have anything to do with you. I think, that, okay, I love the movie Jaws. I will repeat this a thousand. I love the movie. But they gave the Great White Shark a bad rap. Hmm. Because they are not the most violent one. But since the movie came out, people are like, oh my god, they're the worst one. But I don't think they're the worst ones because bull sharks attack more. Yeah, bull sharks are a lot more aggressive, aren't they? Yeah, so the poor gray white shark is very territorial. Like, it will tell you to leave its area. Like, it will give you a hard time. I mean, there is times where they will attack people without warning because that's just what happens with animals. But bull sharks attack with aggression. Yeah, and they, they're often, going for the kill. Did you know bears used to be in Africa? I know bears used to be in England. There's a video about bears being in Africa. There was bears all over Europe before you guys killed them all. I mean, as we've learned from previous videos, bears are very dangerous. But back to sharks. Um, I think bull sharks are just worse. Yeah. A bigger boat. The threat sharks pose to humans is greatly exaggerated. In fact, humans are responsible for tens of millions of shark deaths annually. But we wouldn't want to get too close with a great white shark. He's in a bad evening. They rarely attack humans as it is. See, it's all the movies. Don't be But if a shark does bite you even once, the blood oh loss my could God. be fatal. Sharks are attracted to blood, so keep that in mind before ocean. you go in for a swim. If a shark is acting aggressive, make yourself look bigger to scare them off. You can also fend them off with a makeshift weapon, like a snorkel. But sharks aren't <laughs> nearly as bloodthirsty as Man, some movies scary. suggest. I am a nice shark, not a mindless eating machine. If I am to change this image, I must first change myself. Fish are friends, not food. Number nine, Egyptian cobra. Did anyone see the snake? Right. I've got a little bit of a um. I've got a little bit. Very kind of funny. Of, so I was in Malta. And I was, it, I'm not going to say I saw a massive shark, I didn't. Um, however, this is an octopus. I... It's an octopus. There's a part of the... Oh. So part of the area we were diving in. So we went near a shipwreck, uh, which is pretty cool. Don't tell me we went in the shipwreck, you idiot. No, I, I sat outside, but people did go in. Oh, I didn't. I stayed outside because I'm scared. Um, don't, don't comment. Um, anyway, I love diving. I can't say anything bad about it. So the only thing I didn't like is how there's a part of the ocean where there was no, I couldn't see any land underneath me, no seabed at all underneath me, just darkness. You thought there was gonna work? Yeah, I did. I was like, oh my god, oh my. Uh, I'm like diving. Literally, the, the, the instructor, the instructor just saw, could see how how much I was breathing because how many bubbles were coming out the. Um, Do you know that track sharks, right? Did your diver not tell you? you oh, he told. He, he, he did oh, look. God. Like, uh, when, we, when we came up to the surface, he was like, I genuinely thought he was going to have a heart attack. Yeah, you've got to be careful. Um, when I was down in Florida, we, that happened, and the diver, uh, he's like, Oh, yeah, don't go near the darkness because we don't know what's down there. And I accidentally made my way there by accident. I'm like, Sank down there? I don't know. I don't know. I just stopped do breathing. You have, do you have a feeling something was down there? Yeah, because you just felt like something was like down there. And then 
I was on the Pokemon Y, an octopus wrapped its leg around my hand. I was like, ah! <laughs> I oh my goodness. Which was an octopus, just a baby one. But then we got to swim with baby sharks too. They came in the water. But you need to remember baby sharks equals mummy sharks not far. Yep. So we had to go. Was it bull shark? Or we don't shark? know. We oh. couldn't really tell. We just know it was a shark and we're like, mummy shark cannot be far. Like, we got to go, go. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh my god, no, just no, diving, no. And I went diving with sea turtles. That's nice. They were beautiful. They have bitey little things though. Are they really? They just go nup to you. Nup nup nup. They don't hurt you. Well, the Egyptian cobra was brought an Egyptian friend, so this should be interesting. Wait one second. Make sure you save people. Don't recommend diving because when you next one getting eaten by a shark, like fat cat being eaten by a shark. <laughs> Dive at your own risk. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not uh, popular enough. For me to be at a be yeah, found me that big on the news one time. Fat cat told me to go diving. I lost my leg. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't tell you anything. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, oh. Anyway, so yeah, a different cobra. We're actually gonna go diving in Japan though, so it's okay. We're gonna go to the sea turtle. No, we're not. I'm, yes, not, I'm not diving again. Yes, you are. You promised me you would. Make that bit this boy. Oh, sorry, sweetie, it's okay. What is it? I couldn't find the safety bit. I'm sorry. I drew a picture. It's a cobra, right? Like Indiana Jones. As you'll see on this list, there are plenty of terrifying snakes in He's Africa. Pretty. Growing to just under three meters long, the Egyptian cobra is the largest snake of the region. Ooh. He's pretty little thing. Yeah. Danger noodle. And the most deadly. The Egyptian cobra isn't just relegated to Egypt. It can also be found in other parts of North Ethiopia. Africa as well as West Africa and beyond. Legend has it that Cleopatra ended her life with a bite from this snake, also known as an asp. If that's true, she would have suffered a very slow death. Taste of these, they say, is sharp, swiftly over. An Egyptian cobra has a bite powerful enough to take out a grown elephant. But first comes hours of suffering with painful symptoms like headaches, nausea, and diarrhea. I feel like I'm maintaining. Am I maintaining, man? No, you're not. You look horrible. Come on. Let's get a couple of burritos. If you're ever around these or other dangerous snakes, make sure you have some anti-venom handy. Number eight, Cape Buffalo. Okay. Also known as the African Buffalo, the Cape Buffalo has a massive build and Ooh. poses a major Ooh, threat hello. to humans who get on their bad side. Like a tank, it's heavy and massive. How long is bad side? Measuring seven feet from nose to tail. With its defense against it enemies brass. mounted squarely on the top of its head. Is the lioness Karen in from it? Longer than a man's mm -hmm. arm. Approximately 200 people are was killed. Was I right? A lioness was Karen from it. I really don't. I'd Karen from it, but I'm not a lioness, so. I think those horns could kill somebody. They look pretty sharp. I don't think it's the horns you have to worry about. I think it's the head butt. The, the, the yeah, but if you turn his head, the head, head and if you get to that horn in you, you're dead. Is it like the bison in America? The bison's not that violent. He can be violent, but you got to provoke him to be violent. Have you seen them in the wild in America? I've seen them once, yes. Oh, okay. But I didn't go up and be like, what's up? Built <laughs> annually by these creatures, and their attacks are brutal ones, trampling victims with their powerful hooves and goring them with their powerful hooves. Oh, you're right, horns. I guess. They also I mean, tend to travel in packs, which short. gives them more of an advantage. Due to their desirability to trophy hunters, Cape Buffalo have been labeled near threatened, Aww. meaning they're on the verge of endangerment. That's why. They're certainly a sight to behold, just not one you'd want to take in up close. Mm. Number seven, lion. <laughs> We'd be lion if we said we ever wanted to encounter one of these wild cats. Lions are known as some of the most ferocious hunters on the planet. The overwhelming majority of them live in Africa, where they're said to be responsible for more than 200 deaths per year. A lion might go after a human due to believing they pose a threat to their young, or they just might have worked up an appetite and find them to be easy prey. I wouldn't run. If you do, she'll think you're something good to eat. Should you come across a lion in the wild, do not flee, as you'll never outrun it. Don't turn around, either. Make as much noise as you can and wave your arms aggressively to scare them off before getting to see. Really? Number six, Black Mamba. Knew it. Black Mamba! It's a Black Mamba. A quarter milligram of this venom is enough to kill an adult. You feel a tingling sensation in your mouth and extremities, followed by a fever, vomiting, and a which means loss of muscle control. Hi, 
How do I know that? Gonna do Another all this vicious again. snake. The black mamba is the biggest venomous snake in okay. Africa and can be found slithering through the central, southern, and eastern part. You're seeing a movie? No. It's Jumanji. The black guy, Kevin Hart, finds out that he's a zoologist in the game and he just has all these animal facts. He's like, how do I know that? Because before the game starts, he's like the idiot of the group, the friend group. He like, like makes fun because he's the idiot. And then I'm nowhere. He's like, this has blah, blah, blah. And it's like, how do I know that? I just assumed that he scared himself so much he memorized it. No, he's a zoologist. Which means loss of muscle control. How do it's I know really that? Another it vicious made me snake. Laugh Black so Mamba is the biggest venomous snake in Africa and can be found slithering through the central, southern, and eastern parts of the continent in places like burrows and trees. Their name is actually a bit of a misnomer as they're only black on the inside of their mouths. Hopefully you'll never have to see this in person because if you do, they're probably about to bite. A black mamba snake is able to kill a person with only two drops of its venom. Your brain this can be that. counteracted with anti-venom, but if left untreated, a black mamba's bite is always fatal. Hence, its handle, death incarnate. Pretty cool, huh? Number five, <laughs> Puff Adder. I have had it with these mother snakes. There are already plenty of deadly snakes in Africa, but the Puff Adder has the dubious honor of being the deadliest. How dangerous is it? It's reported to cause one. approximately 32,000 deaths annually. The puff adder can be found throughout the continent, primarily in grasslands. It can blend into its surroundings, so you need to be careful where you step. But when unsuspecting victims, weighing thousands of pounds, tread too close for comfort, a little 13-pounder puff adder can defend itself in a mighty way. Their extensive fangs allow them to deliver painful bites of highly toxic venom. This can cause horrible symptoms, including nausea, bruising, and even necrosis. Jeez, While most puff adder related deaths are due to lackluster medical care, it's still not a snake you want to cross paths yeah, with. No. It's an extreme example of what happens when a puff adder bite is left untreated. Number four, African elephant. <laughs> that can weigh up to 14,000 pounds is understood to be dangerous. The African elephant might be an herbivore, but it can still prove fatal. Hey you, elephant, lift me up on your back, man. <laughs> Approximately 500 deaths occur from their attacks each year. Deaths typically happen through trampling, greatly aided by their massive size. If they perceive someone as a threat to their habitat oh, or to their young, they're prone to becoming Isn't aggressive. In areas with high poaching activity, African elephants are on especially high alert. To quell a potentially angry elephant, act relaxed and speak quietly while giving them plenty of room. Should they charge, run in an unpredictable direction and try to find something large to hide behind. I got a, a, I got a, a story for another time uh, about a friend in Africa. Did he get attacked by an elephant? He got charged by one. Poor guy. Um, did he shoot himself? Yeah, he probably did. Um, no, no, like, not joking. Like, did he actually... No, no, I think he did. Like, he admitted he did. He's just like, yeah, like, of course I would. It, I you that. can't, you can't avoid it. You can't stop it. How much do I like elephants? You like elephants a bit too much. We've got a collection. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Not behind it... me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, right, like, I can move. It's right there. <laughs> yeah, we've got a little collection. Um, They're from everywhere, though. Yeah. Uh, there's also a video on that, on the internet about of an elephant fighting a crocodile. Poor crocodile. Teaching it a lesson. Can you imagine it slaps with its trunk, though? Psh, ow, man. Yeah. And if you can, leave them alone. Just avoid them. They are. Damn, the elephant was violent that day. Number three, Nile crocodile. <gasps> What's that the deadliest type of an already dangerous reptile, the Nile crocodile decimates its prey oh, with incredible jaws. In fact, their bite is eight times stronger than that of a great white shark's. He is oblivious to what lurks beneath the surface. Oh, they don't let their victims mm -hmm. off easy in any mm -hmm. way going as far as drowning them. The biggest freshwater predators in Africa, Nile crocodiles are prevalent in both lakes and rivers. If a crocodile attacks you, you can escape by poking it in the eyes, throat, or nostrils. 
Resist as hard as you possibly can and run for safety and memory. I strongly don't think it's going to Most importantly, that however, be vigilant whenever you're in an area where crocodiles might be. Number two, hippopotamus. Yes. Yeah, they're strong, they are. They can't just go on like one bite. Yes, they can. And crocodiles actually avoid them. Yeah, they're just violent. Crocodiles avoid them. Well, and they, they actually are very, um... Territorial. Very. They get very, very angry easily, don't they? They do, and they charge you. They, they are very beautiful, but they are very violent. They charge you with their mouth open. After okay. elephants and rhinos, hippos are the largest animals in Africa. They're also one of the deadliest. Another herbivore with an incredible physique, hippos are intensely protective of their territory and their young. Despite their size, hippos are plenty so fast, cute, and able to run as fast as 19 miles per hour. They also have gargantuan jaws that can make short work of even a crocodile. The hippo can crush a skull with a bite. He's as likely to kill a lion as the lions are to kill him. As many as 3,000 people are said to be killed by hippos each year. You can avoid becoming a statistic by keeping your distance from them, especially the babies. As with an elephant, you can evade a charging hippo by running in a zigzag pattern. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, mosquito. <coughs> Mosquitoes are considered a nuisance wherever they're found. But in Africa, mosquito bites aren't just aggravating, they're deadly. <laughs> Malaria targets the liver. I'm just saying, do you reckon um, when he did all of his videos in Africa, do you think Mr. Beast had to be like vaccinated for everything? I would imagine. Like yellow fever, rabies. Is it rabies? No. I mean, Malaria. He, he should have rabies for the States, though. Everything, yeah. My God. Stopping the flow of blood to vital organs. Oh, killing one child. Every two minutes. While they're most associated with spreading malaria, it doesn't stop there. Some of the other devastating diseases they can spread include dengue fever, yellow fever, West Nile virus, and Zika virus. Mm. Approximately one million lives are claimed annually by mosquitoes in Africa. Oh. Make sure you have a high quality repellent available and use other preventative measures such as mosquito nets. You can also avoid attracting them by not wearing perfume or any clothes with dark colors. A vaccine to protect against mosquito-borne illnesses is currently being developed, and we hope it's widely available. We still available. don't have it. Anopheles oh, yeah. strictly feeds on they human, and his bite is considered the deadliest in the animal kingdom. Do you agree with our I'm picks? Saying, Check out this other that, reason. If they make that, we definitely get you that vaccine. Yeah, for sure, because I get bitten to fuck all the time. Japan, you look like a snack board. I probably was a snack board. Um, well guys, that was our video on the most 10 most dangerous uh, animals in Africa. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do you agree with the list? Yeah. I do. If there's any other animals that they missed, or they, which there probably are, please list them below and we will have a look into them. Uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time in the next video. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Doodle. Hit stop. Let's go. Time to grind, get inside your mind, yeah we working overtime, that's the only way to climb, we gon' make it in.